In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and he will renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful with the light of your Holy Spirit. Make us responsive to his inspirations, so that we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we continue with day four of our consecration, which is 33 days long, to Jesus through Mary, according to the method of St. Louis de Montfort. Today we consider how the worldly make excuses, how we can make excuses when it comes to coming into deeper relationship with Jesus. From the 14th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel, he said to him, a man once gave a banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, come for all is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go out and see it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported this to his master. Then the householder, in anger, said to the servant, Go out quickly to the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in the poor and the maimed and the blind and the lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you have commanded has been done, and there is still room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges, and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my banquet. The invitation to relationship with Christ is an invitation with an expiration date. Every day the Lord is inviting us. Every time we respond to the Lord, we are pulled deep, more deeply into his grace. But every time we say no, it becomes harder to respond later. Now is the acceptable time. Jesus is holding the banquet. Are we saying yes? So often in our spiritual lives, we make excuses. This priest, this bishop, this pope, whatever, right? Or this member of the church, we say has caused me to step away from moving more deeply into my faith. Certainly, I've run into instances where I've made excuses on the basis of a bad example. I wonder how often we take into account our own bad example. The invitation addressed to us is an invitation from God to his banquet to drop everything and to come to the celebration. But all too often we get caught up in our own business. So the thing we're asking for is that through Mary, we might recognize that invitation that Jesus is addressing to us to come into the feast, which is the kingdom and to let go of everything that gets in our way. What are our excuses? Sometimes it can be uh, weaknesses. Sometimes family weaknesses. Well, you know, I know that the Lord is inviting me to deeper relationship with him, but I have this besetting sin that I still haven't really ask God's grace to get over. Let's turn to our Lord and ask for that grace. O oh, Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in your servant in the spirit of your holiness, in the spirit and fullness of your gifts, in the perfection of your ways, in the truth of your virtues, in the communion of your mysteries. So do within me the power of flesh and demon by your Holy Spirit, for the glory of God the Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.